sewing friends, Cherie here from Cherie's Alchemy, and I'm here today to share with you all my very first Friday Sews. So um, if you haven't heard of it yet, you definitely need to search the uh, hashtag uh, Friday Sews here on YouTube, and you can see all the different sewers that are participating in this weekly sort of sewing vlog. Um, my understanding is that this was something that was started about six months ago from Today and Jen's Sewing Room. That's the YouTube channel. And I'll put a link uh, to the description box in the description box um, to Jen's channel. But um, apparently she's a part of a book group and they used to do um, sort of a Friday reads where they would recap the books that they read um, and then what they planned on reading in the following week. So she decided to do the same thing with sewing. And there are tons of sewists all over the world actually that are participating um, in this uh, weekly. And I saw it probably a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. Um, and I've really been enjoying uh, watching some of these Friday Sews videos. And so I decided that um, I knew at some point that I wanted to start doing them. So I decided to go ahead and record my first Friday sews today because I was dressed up anyway. Um, I took some pictures today to share on my Instagram page um, because I've been participating in the So Happy Colors 2021 challenge um, over on Instagram. And I'll put a link to that as well as um, Katie, uh, the main host, uh, blog post all about this challenge that's going on throughout the month of May. But anyway, this week has been um, featuring uh, knitting projects, sewing projects, as well as just outfits, um, ready to wear outfits and looks that people have featuring the colors yellow and orange. Last week was the first week it was pink and red. I shared some things there. Uh, I have a lot of red as well as a lot of pink in my closet. I also have a lot of yellow and a lot of orange in my closet. So I haven't been sharing daily um, because I have other things that I'm supposed to be working on. But anyway, I did want to go ahead and share um, a make that I did actually last year, but I never uh, shared a picture of myself wearing it on Instagram. So, you know, once you get all dolled up, I figured I may as well <laughs> record a video as well. And I did have some things that I wanted to share with you guys, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do another hauls video. You guys are probably getting sick of my hauls video. But I did get some fabric in this week, and I got a new sewing magazine in this week. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to share, you know, those that don't want to watch it, we'll skip past it, but maybe there's somebody who wants to see. So here I am. Um, I'm going to start actually with my little mini fabric haul. And of course, the fabrics are from, you guessed it, fabricmartfabrics.com. Uh, you guys, I opened the email. Uh, I really try to avoid <laughs> opening the emails because there's always some sale. But um, I don't know. I just opened it and went to the site and saw they had like a lot of categories on sale. And I knew... Um, I was looking for two specific kinds of fabric. I wanted some really lightweight linen uh, for some summer dresses, and I'm always on the hunt for really nice, like flowy rayon type prints, because again, I have a lot of summer dresses and blouses that I wanna make. And while, of course, I have plenty in my stash, it could never hurt to look, right? Well, I ended up finding several things. I was very good. I didn't get a ton, but there were a couple pieces that I was just like, I gotta get them. So let me show you. All right, the first thing I wanna show you, um, I do, I don't know. You know, as I'm sewing my handmade wardrobe, um, I started off with just making a lot of basics. I wanted a bunch of nice t-shirts, loungewear, just to kind of like, everyday things. For me, a wrap dress is a staple. So I think in the last year, I've probably made like 10 wrap dresses. Um, that kind of stuff, you know, it doesn't take a ton of time to 
so, um, but you get through them. They're fashionable, they fit you, but they're not super intricate. And it's all stuff that I just throw in a wash and I keep it going. I'm at a stage now where I want to start to add more kind of luxe items into my handmade wardrobe. Things that are using more luxurious fabrics, as well as things that are have a bit more tailoring, a bit more details. Um, so I'm at that stage now. And so I decided to look at um, some of the luxury fabrics there. I looked at some of the silks uh, in particular. And let me show you what I found. I already got a little peek because my pile was in the frame. But look at this color. It's so gorgeous. And it's interesting because it said navy, but this is what it looked like on the website. And I'm like, that's not navy. If it comes in as navy, I'll still use it. But I was really hoping it was this color and it was. But anyway, they're calling this navy 100% silk soft shantung shirting. I got two yards because I plan on making a blouse and it was $16 a yard. And then I got it in this color. They're called this color plum, but it looks more like an orchid to me, but also just gorgeous. I mean, I love these two together. I could do a color block if I wanted. This isn't as pretty, but I'm probably going to make two separate tops because I do, I want some just nice luxury fabric tops. And then look at the, um, the hand on this, the drape, this is so soft and just, you know, so, so good. I love it. So I'm looking forward to working with those. And then as I said, I was looking for some lighter weight linen fabric, found it. I got that also in two colors. I got this Carolina blue and white, and then this one is called an amaranth red and white. And it's a woven 100% linen fabric. Let me see how they describe it. Yeah, so they're calling this one a Carolina blue and white, 100% linen, lightweight yarn dyed chambray fabric, 58 inches wide. I got three yards of each of them, the red and the blue, and they were $12 a yard. So this will make a really nice uh, summer dress, both of these. Probably shirt dresses, um, but I, wanted, I want one that has like a little bit of an A-line uh, hem, maybe a tie at the waist. I have several patterns from my last pattern hauls, um, actually, that I'm thinking about for these. So in love with them, and again, so, so soft, so, so good. This was just a random because of the color. Look at this green. I mean, it's a little leprechaun-y, but I don't care, I want a green dress. There was a green dress that I actually wanted from J. Crew last season, and it was sold out in my size. Um, and so I'm thinking about um, drafting a pattern that would be, um, that would mimic that dress. That's really what I'm thinking about. Uh, also a shirt dress style, actually, and it has like some ruffles and pleating at the neckline. Um, but anyway, this is called a dark spring green silk cotton midweight woven designer fabric, 54 inches wide. It was $12 a yard and I got three yards. And I think it was the last three yards because I would have loved to have four actually. But I'll figure out something to do with this. And then here's the last piece. This was the piece that, you know, I was just like, you gotta check out girl. I saw this fabric and I was just like, I was gonna get it. Just, I mean, this is me. This red, you know how I feel about red. I love it with this um, black and this kind of like violety blue. It's this modern abstract animal print and it's very much like a tomato-y orange red. It's so pretty, it's so soft. This is a, um, let me find the label real quick. They're calling this one a red, orange, black and royal blue 100% polyester, animal print crepe de chine. I got eight yards and I love it because this is a machine wash gentle fabric, um, but I got eight yards and it was $5.20 a yard. 
I mean, I should have gotten 10 yards, y'all. I would make like a whole <laughs> wardrobe <laughs> in this fabric. Some palazzo pants, a shirt, a dress. I mean, come on. This is so good. And it's so good. It's like, I didn't even take it in the sewing room. I'm up here in my dining room actually recording this video because I have it sitting up here because I'm like, if that is in my sewing room, I'm going to get so distracted from what I'm supposed to be finishing up and I would try to cut into this. Um, I'm actually working on my project for the Fabricista blog post that um, will appear at the end of the month on the fabricmartfabrics.com blog. Um, and so I have a lot going on in there and I'm making some supplemental things to go with it. Almost like a little mini wardrobe. I think my last video shows the black and white collection that I'm talking about, um, that I'm planning on doing. Um, and so I'm trying to stay focused on that, getting that done, having the deadline helps cause I got to get it done. Right. Um, but this will be definitely getting cut into like right after I submit that blog post. I love this so much. So that's my little mini fabric haul. Not bad, right? Um, again, I'll try to link to these fabrics if I can find them, if they're still available. Um, this is a recent order. I ordered it not even 10 days ago. Um, and the sale might be still going on. I have no idea. But worth checking out. Okay, so the next thing... I'm going to save the sewing magazine to last. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is... Um, a couple plans. Again, not for this week because I have to finish up that black and white project. But I think again, in the upcoming weeks after that, this is what I'm thinking about. So um, I think I mentioned earlier that I'm participating in the So, um, what is it called? So Happy Colors 2021. Um, that's uh, a challenge going on on Instagram is hosted by Katie. Um, I forget her last name, but I'll put um, her Instagram and her blog posts uh, in the description box. So you can go read all about the challenge because you still have time to join and it goes on all month. And like I said, uh, it started, it started at the beginning of March and it started with pinks and reds. And then this week was yellow and oranges. And so that's why I'm wearing this yellow dress so I can post another yellow make uh, later today. And then um, I pulled this one top to post for yellow. I mean, for orange. One of my favorite, favorite tops. This is one of my favorite Ogden camis. I've made the Ogden cami like a lot of people, I think like six times. Um, because it just, it doesn't use a ton of fabric. It's just a great, like I said, I was working on sewing basics. One of the basics that I wanted to have more of was like nice camisoles. I tried, I think three different patterns. This one is my favorite one. So I made it several times, but look at how cute this is. Look at that. It's high low uh, on this one because I was short of fabric. So actually the low is the back. That's the back. I mean the high. It's cut a little higher in the back. Um, because I wanted to have a, a little bit longer in the front so my tummy doesn't show. Um, but this is what I posted for orange this week. I love orange with green and this kind of like peachy color. And after I posted this on Instagram, I'm like, I still need to make some pants to go with this. And I had planned to make green pants and probably some cream colored slacks as well, linen. But then I'm like... You know, after seeing all the like really brightly, beautifully colored outfits, I'm like, make some orange pants. When I was in high school, one of my favorite pair of pants that I had, actually the whole outfit, it was a monochromatic orange outfit. I rocked that outfit so often. Um, and I haven't had orange pants, proper orange pants since then. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to definitely um, make some pants to go with this. I pulled this green linen from my stash. It's like not true to the top, the same shade, but I think that would work. And then unfortunately my orange that I have in my stash is like a little bit too rusty orange, I think. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, could I get away with that? I mean, I think I could actually. I think I'm gonna make them up anyway and I'll just put them on and see. Cause you know, in different light, it might flow. Um, and if it doesn't, I need to find, um, I need to find the right shade of orange or maybe I'll have to dye these. Maybe I'll have to dye the fabric to get the color that I want. I don't know, but I really want some orange linen pants now and some green linen pants. So that's gonna come go on the queue. It's gonna jump a couple things. And then the green is perfect because remember how I told you I made a lot of Ogden camis. Here's another one that's a favorite. This is using um, a cotton lawn um, from Amy Butler's Glow Collection. It's so good. And then look, with the green linen, that would be so cute. And then I have another Ogden cami. <laughs> I will look good with this green linen. This is a beautiful, it was actually a double border print um, from Fabric Mart Fabrics also. Um, this was another one of those fabrics. It was on like a crazy sale and I got like 10 yards of it and I've made a dress, a skirt, and this often can be so far and I still have tons of fabric left. But again, I mean, look at that print. And I, I made I made red linen pants with this already. I'll try and pop, no, did I photograph it? I don't think so. I don't think I've photographed myself wearing this top with the red linen pants yet. Um, but anyway, made red linen pants. Now I need to make green linen pants. Look at, can't even pick it up. So I'm gonna make these green linen pants. Let me hold it closer. This flower here is like a lighter green. The camera's making it look, look a little funky. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'll have a couple options to wear with these green linen pants. So, those are gonna jump. Those are gonna jump the queue in my sewing plans because you know how you like, now it's in my head and I gotta make it. So I don't even know what pattern I'm gonna use yet, but I have plenty to pick from. So yeah, that's gonna get on the list. Final thing I'm gonna talk about. Um, I'm so excited about this, guys. My birthday was in December. And so, um, you know, with us not being able to do a ton, you know, all our typical traveling, it's just at a halt like everybody else, right? Um, no travel for Christmas. I decided, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to treat myself to like some extra things. And I ended up getting some subscriptions, um, which I haven't done for a while, to some sewing magazines, um, sewing and quilting magazines. And the first one came. I got a subscription to Fiber Mood. I actually did the combination subscription where I'll get the print magazine six times a year. With that, I get to select five PDF patterns that I can print at home. And then the rest, you know, they're all in here and I can do the tracing with everything else. And then I also get access to the digital version of all the magazines as well. Um, because I do like to just, I like to look at the looks just on the computer sometimes. All their directions and stuff like that are online anyway. Um, but of course, if you want to sew the whole, if you want to sew all the looks, you need to get the magazine. So I think I'm going to go through, I'll have to spend like one weekend and just trace the other things that I want. But with that subscription, I got my top five choices. I got his PDF patterns. I mean, it was just, I love that. And so I've actually already printed off the first one I'm going to make, which is, let me find it. Where is she? Hmm. Page 34. This here. My first one is going to be this Mabel. And be warned, I'm probably going to make it like eight times. So. <laughs> 
I want this in solids. I want this in print. This is going to be my go-to sweatshirt. If it turns out the way I think it's going to turn out, because it has these great sleeves. Um, again, super simple to throw together. It's a sweatshirt without being like overly boxy. And I don't know, my body type, I just look schlumpy in like, in sweatshirts like that. This is more, looks more like a blouse with sweatshirt fabric. And so that's what I liked about it. I love the ruffle down the front. Um, I love that you can do this in prints. I'm gonna play with this. I think this is gonna be just my like go-to spring transition sweatshirt. Um, and then, like I said, I picked four others, um, which I'll show you. Maybe I'll do a little show and tell um, as another video. But I'm super, super excited about this. I've been eyeing their makes um, on Instagram probably for the last year. Uh, some folks that I follow have posted some things more recently. And I'm like, I have to get a hold of this magazine. And so wish me luck with this. I hope that, you know, there's a good fit here um, with these designs. So yeah, you know, I'm really excited about sewing from this magazine. I feel like it, the stuff is modern, it's stylish. I, again, I love the fact that I got to pick five PDFs that I wanted. Um, so I don't have to worry about tracing those right away. I can just print out the PDFs and start sewing. Um, so actually I've already printed two. I printed the Mabel sweatshirt and actually the second one is the shirt that's on the cover. So those two are already printed, but the Mabel sweatshirt will be my first make. Um, I'll definitely share um, that here on YouTube and give you my, my impressions of it. But yeah, I'm so excited about that. Oh, and I have one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, you know, I made this dress often when I go to the store. This fabric, by the way, is a jersey um, from Joann's. And usually I'll get four or five yards of the fabric, especially when it's on, you know, good clearance. Um, and there's always that little bit left over, right? After I make something. So that's one thing that I've been trying to do is instead of keeping that yard, yard and a half of fabric in my stash, I've just been sewing it up into Ogden camis, t-shirts, sleep shirts, and then these little turtlenecks. Um, and so this is one of my favorites. I'll insert at the end, I'll, sh I'll insert a picture of me wearing this. I'll insert the picture of me wearing this. And then this is my all time so far favorite wrap dress pattern. I've made this, I think, five or six times. I'll insert pictures of the other versions of this as well as me wearing this, like I said, um, at the end of the video. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna come back and do reviews on these. This was also, this turtleneck was made from one of my also favorite patterns. I use so much. Um, yeah, so anyway, just wanted to show that to you guys. Again, it has that sleeve moment going on that I just love. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you guys today. So um, I hope you enjoyed my first Friday sews. Um, next week, maybe I'll be just a little bit more chatty, a little less show and telly. Um, but I did wanna show you guys my little haul and especially my new magazine, my birthday present that I'll get to enjoy all year long. Um, yeah, and I'll be back soon. I've actually already recorded a couple of um, pattern review videos, um, but I need to edit those and find some time to get those uploaded and share. So I'm really excited about uh, that content coming soon. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, thank you again for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you back here on YouTube soon. Oh yeah, and especially, um, I wanna remind you guys before I go to check out the Friday Sews hashtag here on YouTube. Um, you're sure to find some really um, entertaining uh, videos for you to watch, especially while you're hanging out in your sewing room uh, this weekend. And so yeah, so check that out. Okay guys, I'll see you back here again soon. Take care, bye-bye.